there is a WhatsApp message being circulated in which the Honorable Wendy Phipps is being accused of deceiving the public into thinking that the rapid tests which Dr. Drew donated to government last year are no good. And now the same rapid antigen tests are being used by the cruise lines for the port of calls to, for the port calls to St. Kitts. The source of the criticism seems to be based on a release from the Chamber of Industry and Commerce that demands that government accept the same rapid tests from the cruise lines. Can you clarify if the tests Dr. Drew offered last year are the same as the ones which the cruise ships are using? Are all COVID-19 rapid tests the same? Please explain. The public wants to know. We are confused. Dr. Wilkinson. Thanks for the question, Leslie, and I'm happy to explain. Now, for the testing of COVID-19, we have two main categories of tests. You have the antibody test and the antigen test. The antibody tests are described as a rapid test because you can get the results within a few minutes. With the antigen test, you have the standard PCR molecular test, which is done in the lab, that can take several hours, and that is the gold standard, and those are the ones that we do. Or you also have the antigen test, which is a rapid antigen test. Now, let me, I know I might be losing persons here, but let me start. So with the antibody tests, and those are the type of tests that were given to us last year when we made the decision not to use them. The test for proteins that are developed in the body when somebody becomes infected. So with the rapid antibody test, there are two types of proteins that will be developed if you got infected. You have IgG, sorry, IgM, which occurs at least two weeks after you were infected, and IgM, which appears about and sorry, an IgG, which appears about three weeks after you were infected. So if one were to use the rapid antibody test, to screen for COVID-19, someone can be going around for two weeks spreading the virus before the test shows up being positive. And that is why we made a scientific decision not to use the rapid antibody test in our screening protocols. Uh, so when Dr. Drew came on the 25th of March, I think it was last year, with the rapid anti body tests, we made a decision not to use it, not because it was Dr. Drew, it didn't matter who was bringing these tests, we decided not to use them. The antigen test, I think the first antigen test that was given emergency use authorization by the FDA was on the 9th of uh, March last year, which is sometime after Dr. Drew would have come with the rapid, May, May sorry, May, 9th of May, which was sometime after he would have come with the the rapid antibody test. And even then, we said that we were not going to be using the rapid antigen test at that point in time because when they first came out, the uh, sensitivity and the, and the specificity were not as high. Now, as time has gone by, these tests have become more and more uh, sensitive and specific in that uh, if someone uh, tests positive with the rapid antigen tests, we know that they are positive. However, the sensitivity is not that great because there's no amplification. In other words, one can have a low viral load and test negative. And that is why if someone tests negative with the rapid antigen test, you would have to follow it up with the gold standard PCR test. Some of the cruise ships are using the rapid antigen tests to uh, screen persons who they suspect might be positive on board. And uh, they are finding a greater and greater use for uh, that purpose in the acute setting, screening for persons in small gatherings, etc., to see if they are positive. And this is something that we are considering uh, using at this point in time as the science has evolved. This is completely separate 
and completely different from the rapid antibody test that we made a decision not to use last year.